In this lesson, you will learn how to skip count by 2, 5, and 10 using a hundreds chart. Find the next two numbers in each series using a hundreds chart. The first number series is shown here. And let's look at these numbers. You have 6, 8, 10, and 12. I'm going to go into the hundreds chart to try and find the pattern. And to do that, I'm going to highlight the numbers that were given. So you have the numbers 6, 8, 10, and 12. If you notice that every other number is highlighted, this is a pattern of skip counting by 2. Every other number is also even. So you can find the next two even numbers, or you can skip count by 2. And I'm going to highlight the next two numbers in green. So if we find every other number, right, we skip this number, we skip 13, and you land on 14. Every other number from here would be skipping 15 and landing on 16. These are also the next two even numbers as well. So that means the missing numbers here are 14 and 16. Let me erase the highlights for these numbers, and then we'll look at the next number series, okay? So here's our next number series, and we have it in green. The numbers are 35, 30, 25, and 20. Now let's find those numbers here in the chart. Here's 35, here is 30, here is 25, and here is 20. Okay, now let's try and find the pattern. Let's count. So if you notice, if you start at the number 35, which is here, you count 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you land on the fifth count on 30. That means you're going to count 4 and then pick that fifth number. That's the one that belongs in the pattern, which means that this pattern is made by subtracting 5. So if I go from 35 and I take away 5, I land at 30. And if I take away 5 again, I land at 25. And take away 5 again, you land at 20. So use this information to help you find the next numbers in the chart. And I'll highlight those in yellow now. So if we're at 20, we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4. Pick the fifth number, or take away 5 from 20, you get to 15. Now from here, do the same thing again. Count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 lands us on 10, which means the next number in the series will be 10. So the one after 20 is 15, and then you take away 5 again, and you get to 10. So this is skip counting backwards by 5s. Let me erase this work, and we will do the third series. Let's highlight the third series here in blue, and I'm going to find these numbers. You have 30, 40, 50, and 60. Let me find those in the chart. Here's 30. Here's 40, 50, and 60. So these numbers are going up, and if you write them out, you have 30, 40, 50, and 60. The numbers here go up by 10, or you add 10. And you notice that because here, each row has 10 numbers. So when you travel through an entire row, so say you start at 30, right, and you go this way. You come all the way across here, and you land at 40. What the blue arrow covers are the 9 numbers, and then the 10th number is 40. So every 10 numbers, that's what you want. So if we continue on from 50, right, you add 10, you get to 60, which is right here. If you add 10 again, you land on 70, and add 10 one more time, you land on 80. That means the missing numbers are 70 and 80. And you can double check this because you left off the pattern at 60, and we know the rule is add 10. 60 plus 10 equals 70. And then you add 10 again from 70 to get the next missing number. 70 plus 10 is 80. In this lesson, you've practiced skip counting on a hundreds chart. Thanks for watching.